guide, we're going to look at sending email using Spring Boot. Sending email is a critical component of any web application. Here, we're in the Spring Boot uh, docs, the current docs, and there's a section on sending email. Here it says, the Spring Framework provides an easy abstraction for sending email using the Java Mail Sender interface, and Spring Boot provides auto configuration for it as well as a starter module. So that's good news to us, to us right away. We know there's a starter module, so there won't be a lot of configuration on our end. It says if the spring.mail.host in the relevant libraries, which we're going to pull in just using this starter uh, dependency, um, a default Java mail sender is created if none exists. So this means that if, if we just have this starter and at least this uh, configuration detail in our properties file, it's going to create us a Java mail sender. And if we don't want it to, maybe we want to define our own, we can. If we create a bean of type Java mail sender, it won't create one for us. Uh, but in this demo, we're just going to let it create it for us. And then if you go over here, there's uh, mail properties. You can take a look at all the different properties that you can set from the mail standpoint. So here's the prefix spring.mail. So spring.mail.host is the server host. You have port, username, password, there's everything in here. And the two classes that, well, actually we're only going to look at one, but there's two kind of classes here for constructing an email message. One is this simple mail message, and I'll include a link to this class. This is just for constructing, as the class name suggests, a simple mail message. If you want uh, more robust, uh, a little bit more flexible um, mail messages, you'll want to look at the MIME mail message class, and I'll include a link to this as well. So let's go ahead and dive on in. So here I am in the Palm file. All I did was create a very basic web application. So I used the Spring Initializer, and the only thing I selected was web. So we're going to drop that Palm, that dependency in here, spring-boot-starter-mail, and that's going to give us um, basically what we need that in combination with setting some properties so let's go into resources and click the application.properties file so we need to basically set up a host username password and port uh, in this case I'm gonna add one more just because I want to use Gmail and I need another setting there so we're gonna send from Gmail and this is what my properties look like. So you want to in, you're, you want to change that username to be yours and the password to be yours. So I'm going to go ahead and change these real quick, save this file, and then we'll come back and, and start taking a look into this application. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I've saved my properties and it's time to dive in and start creating this little demo here. So the first thing you'll notice is we have a sending email application. This is our main class. And I just want to go ahead and fire up the application just to make sure we haven't screwed anything up yet. It should start up pretty quick. All right, there we go. So we're good to go so far. Um, I'm going to create a new controller. Let's call this controller, uh, we'll say registration controller. We'll mimic sort of a, a scenario where somebody might sign up. So there'd be like a registration form and then on a sign up success, we may send a notification to both the user and the admin, etc. That kind of situation. So let's just go ahead and rest controller. Okay, so nothing fancy going on here. We have a REST controller. If we hit the sign up, we're just gonna pretend like, hey, that's our sign up form. And then if we hit the slash sign up success, that says to me that they've submitted the form, everything was good to go, and here's probably where we will send a notification. Okay, so at this point, we need a way to send notifications. So we're going to create a new service, and we're gonna call this notification service 
and first thing we're going to do is mark this as a service <clears throat> So remember, um, Spring created a new bean for us of type Java Mail Sender when we decided to include that starter palm and define our, our property there. So we have that. So we just want that, um, we want that auto wired in. Okay, so now we have a field. Um, property there with the name Java Mail Center and we're auto wiring it into our constructor. Next we're going to create a new message called send notification and this is going to take a user object and this is where we're going to send our email. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to, let's save this off, so we have no idea what a user is yet. I've actually created this domain object already just to save some time here, this is just a user domain object, a POJO with the property's first name, last name, and email address, and a NORD constructor. So that'll take that. So now what we want to do is actually create a simple mail message. And remember I told you about that particular class at the beginning of this lecture. This is a, a simple mail class for just constructing um, simple emails. So models a simple mail message including data from to CC subject and text fields. So again I mentioned if you want um, a little bit more um, sophisticated messages you may want to check out my messages. Um, just for doing that. So we're just going to use this for now. Like I said, this was going to work just great for what we needed to. So let's say mail.set2. We're going to say user.get email address. That's who we're sending it to. Mail.set from. Uh, we're going to say this is my Gmail account. Uh, we could probably grab that from the properties. We're just going to keep it simple here though mail.set subject toys for shots is coming soon Oops. and then this is going to be the body and that's it and now so all we need to do is use our jail java mail sender so Java mail sender dot send and then there's one overloaded method here that takes a simple message and so we'll just pass in mail and save. So one thing we're going to do though is we're actually going to throw mail exception. Just going to catch this in the controller if something goes wrong. So that looks pretty good. Now we have a notification service that will send a notification and it uses a simple mail message to construct the email and then the Java mail sender that our starter palm gave us and we auto wired into the constructor here. So that looks good. So now if we jump back over to here, I need to create a user. So we'll say user user equals new. Alright, so there's my user. And then all I want to do is let's try and send this. So, oh, we need a notification, right? So let's go ahead and actually, we'll just auto wire this in. I know, I know. Practice what we preach, right? We shouldn't be auto wiring this in here, but. I'm going to just for time's sake. And 
there's our user. Okay, so I think this looks good. Um, let's go ahead and fire this up. So we're gonna hit the sign up just to make sure our routes are running. Then we hit sign up access. Um, we should go ahead and see something happen. So. All right, so there's nothing there, sign up. How about sign up success? Something's spinning, something's done. Don't see any. Oh, well, actually, we needn't we didn't really print anything out there, so let's hope this went through. Let's go ahead and refresh my Gmail here. All right. Well, this is a good case for us to go ahead and see what heck, see what the heck happened here. Let's do this. Import a couple things. Yes, yes. Let's say logger.info. What the heck happened? All right, so let's fire that back up. Let's just run back over here to see maybe it came through. Nope. All right. Okay, good. So now we got an error here at least. Uh, error sent an email. Authentication failed. Okay. Um. Username, password not accepted. All right, so I'm gonna stop this real quick and check, maybe I typed something wrong in the properties file. Okay, and we're firing it back up because I indeed did type something wrong in the properties file. I typed in the incorrect password. So that was a good chance for us to see what, what we can do when something goes wrong. So let's go ahead and refresh this again. This is taking a little bit longer, so it looks like maybe it is authenticating now. I don't see any errors here. I'm going to go back over to my inbox, and there is my email message. So there you have it. Uh, we did run across a quick hitch, but nothing we couldn't fix. And sending email in Spring Boot is really easy. Uh, you just need to include that starter palm, set up some mail settings for your host and server, and off and running you are. Obviously, we could have expanded this out a little bit further and, and done a couple more things. Um, but... As a simple example, I think it worked out good. So let me know what you think.